Hello everyone. You know me, I'm Kathleen McGeever and I'm the chair of theater here at Northern Arizona University. We are presenting this video so that you can keep track of all the extensive deadlines and exciting things that are happening in the spring 2021 semester. So this video is a short video with spring semester important dates and processes. First up are NAU Theater Scholarships. And I know many of you are interested in that because you're trying to find a way, an affordable way to continue your education. We have two sets of scholarships available. First are current NAU Theater Scholarship students who need to renew their paperwork. And I'm going to hide my video so you can read the screen. All paperwork is due March 1st. All paperwork is needed and that is listed online. The only difference is in your transcripts, you will turn in an unofficial version. And in your letters of recommendation, they're more like emails from three current NAU theater faculty supporting your continued work in the scholarship and at NAU theater. No audition or interview is needed. The next set of scholarships are new scholarships. These are for students that are currently here at NAU, but don't currently have a scholarship. We have many scholarships available. The paperwork is due March 1st. Now, you do need three complete letters of recommendation, formal letters. They can be from NAU theater faculty or other folks that you might know if you are new to NAU. Keep in mind that if those are received after the deadline, that is okay because people sometimes are slow to write letters. However, we really need them by March 15th to move forward. You will also need to submit an official transcript, even though you may have one on file with the university, it must be official. And then all the other paperwork, the FERPA form, the application, headshot, resume, etc. That is the same for the non-new scholarships. Keep in mind, you'll have to do an audition slash interview. And coming up on February 19th and 20th, the recruitment team, which is Professor Peterson and Professora Whitehurst and myself, will be attending the accepted virtual walk-in auditions and interviews. They are from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. Arizona time. You must sign up in advance, and you can do that from getaccepted.com. March 6th, it, auditions can be uploaded to accepted, the accepted portal. Also, you can link through getaccepted.com. That is if you choose not to attend the virtual walk-ins. Now, the nice thing about the virtual walk-ins is that it is live, even though we're in the virtual medium. The March 6th date is if you cannot make it to the February 19th, 20th, and you would upload your paperwork and your audition or your portfolio presentation, which could be a video or the physical portfolio pieces to the accepted portal. If you have any questions, please reach out to Professora Whitehurst, Professor Peterson or myself. We also have a really cool thing happening, the Virtual Design Expo. This date will be April 16th and the place will be NAU Theater's YouTube channel. The expo is required for all students currently in the design and technology emphasis. Studies emphases students are highly recommended or encouraged to participate. Please submit 
up to five projects, resume, pictures, drawings, draftings in the link below. Please submit each project individually in JPEG or King files as they are preferred for ease of uploading. Submission deadline is April 13th at 5 p.m. So what is a design technology in, uh, expo? It's a display of your creative and innovative work produced here um, by you, NAU theater students. It's a great opportunity to experience the research, collaboration, technology, and artistry that helps craft a theatrical production. The design and technology emphasis students, as well as theater studies emphases, will show the world that they have been what they've been working on and what they are capable of. So some of the things that you would submit are your resume, your classwork, production work, other projects that you have done. Please note that if you have any questions to reach out to one of the design technology faculty, that would be Mark Delancey, Ben Alexander, Jennifer Peterson, Catherine Ellis. Nancy Parr as well, although because she's been working remotely, a little, little harder to get a hold of. We are looking forward to seeing your work in the virtual world and this link to see the virtual expo will also be used in the undergraduate research symposium. Emphases. So the design and technology emphasis and the performance emphasis have interviews or auditions coming up very soon. We're gonna start with the D&T emphasis interviews. They are Friday, March 5th, and they are virtual. Check your email for all the information it should have come from Professor Ben Alexander. If you have any questions, please reach out to the design and technology faculty. Performance emphasis auditions should be uploaded on the Google Drive in the Google Doc that was sent out to you last week. They are due Friday, March 5th. Check that email for information. It's very important that you complete the, the Google Doc form as well as the uploading of materials and your audition. The audition is two contrasting monologues. Advanced performance courses are also being auditioned at the same time. These are courses that are beyond theater 135 and 222. You must audition for all performance courses beyond those two. And this spring, we are auditioning for the following courses that would be offered in the 21-22 academic year. Some of them you may see on Louis already but others have not been created yet and they will be spring courses. Please note that the spring courses do not go live until later this semester. The courses we are auditioning for are Theater 214, Acting Intensive, which works with the Directing 2 course, the Advanced Directing course, and produces the One Act Festival. Theater 332, Contemporary acting techniques is the second course of the four acting techniques courses and the third in the sequence of acting courses. So the first is 135, then 214, and then 332. 332 is open to students in the uh, theater studies emphasis as well as are all of these courses, but you must audition. Theater 414 is the advanced movement course. Theater 460 is theater performance topics. This fall, we will be teaching a course called Health Theater. This is in collaboration with the nursing program and it leads to work as a specialized or standardized patient or performer, depending on the language you use, 
which is actually a lucrative job for actors. It's an exciting course that is funded by a grant for development and the testing process will be doing some interesting community engagement projects. It will be a team talk course by me and by Professor Bobby Eccleston in nursing. And then finally, Theater 472, which is the Advanced Contemporary Acting Techniques course. You must have taken 332 before you take 472. And all of these courses, you need to have had Acting 135. How do you apply? You apply on the Google form. Sorry, I forgot the E there on the Google. The same one that the performance emphasis is using. Upload your headshot, your resume, and upload an audition of two contrasting pieces. They are due on March 5th. And the Google form link is there, but you did receive all this in an email. We will be making our decision shortly after that and permission numbers for the fall courses will be shared with you so that you can register. The spring courses will come as soon as they're built. Production applications, formerly called letters of intent, are also due this semester. You see, it is a busy semester. They are due April 1st, 2021, and no, that is not a April Fool's joke. The Google Doc will be sent out very shortly. Look for an email from one of the uh, design and technology emphasis faculty. Actually, I'm gonna go back real quickly. The, pay, the uh, production applications are for everybody that would like to do something other than the acting part of the work we do in creating theater. So this would be for stage managers, assistant stage managers, designers, non-capstone projects, assistant directors, perhaps, maybe, um, those kinds of different things. As well as if you wanna work on the event promotions team um, and, and whether you wanna take leadership roles in a crew, et cetera. So moving back again, they're due April 1st. Some upcoming events to end this short video that we have. Of course, you all know Fefu and her friends is coming up very soon in about two weeks from the publication of this uh, video. She kills monsters in April. We also have on April 1st, the great survival debate. What is the great survival debate? Well, we ask people to come and debate as if the world is ending and there's only one spot to leave this troubled world and move on to create a new civilization. So we invite disciplines to speak on their behalf. We partner with the uh, Department of Philosophy and so we already have seats on the boat to go, theater and philosophy were very important. And these are for a, one other seat. We debate that and then there is a popular vote and there is a juried vote and the combination of the two wins the coveted uh, acts designed by our former scenic designer, Nalco Scala. Uh, this event actually premiered not last year, but the year before and then COVID sidelined us. So this will be virtually done this year. And Women's and Gender Studies won the inaugural event. They will be there to uh, defend their acts. So it's a fun time and a great time to learn about other disciplines. So I hope you'll be able to attend virtually 5.30 PM, um, of course, on your computer. And then the Design Expo that we already talked about is coming up at the end of the semester. And that coincides with the NAU Undergraduate Research Symposia, which is really an exciting way to end the year. And it too will be virtual. So we have a lot of really exciting things and lots of work coming up. 
So I look forward to hearing all about your accolades and the things that you apply for. And I hope to see a plethora of scholarship auditions. And I also hope to see you all soon, not in the virtual world. So thank you for listening and have a great day.